What is going on everybody, it is Nick also known as Born Gamer, and yes, this is finally a post commentary. No more of the live commentaries for the multiplayer, at least not for a little while here. The main reason being, I have undiagnosed ADHD and I cannot think and speak at the same time while playing Assassin's Creed Online. I need to kind of rethink how the live commentaries go. Uh, however, I always will do a live commentary for the first time I play a game because I figure that's always kind of fun and people kind of enjoy seeing what it is that other people react like when they play a game for the first time. So uh, that tradition is going to stay true to the Born Gamer channel, the Born Gamer brand, which I am in fact trying to expand on, guys. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, I have been around for about a year and a half now and I've always specialized, 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 <laughs> words, Nick, words. Um, I've always specialized in Assassin's Creed Online, and it's always been a really fun thing for me to teach new players. So tomorrow, that's going to be Friday, November 1st, I believe, if I can get my calendar right here. Uh, the ABCs are returning. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the ABCs, the ABCs is a series where I teach players how to play. And contrary to how this gameplay is going to go, which I will get to later, I am actually very, uh, how should I say, uh, versed in Assassin's Creed Online. I've been playing it for a couple of years now. Obviously, I've been making videos, watching videos, so I know a thing or two. And I did ABCs of ACR when I first made my channel, and it's always been my favorite series. And I'm really excited to go back and finally start making some new videos, go through the tutorials, teach players a thing or two. And after that, I can start finally getting out some of these new series I want to get going, such as a Game Lab series. Those already seem to be taking hold, so Game Labs will be a thing on my channel. Uh, sorry. And also this... <coughs> Woo! Man, I have just been commentating so much that uh, my voice is starting to get shot. But I must move on, so uh, Game Labs will be on my channel. I'm looking forward to that. Templar Tactics will be back. And the other series that I already have going right now is a playthrough of Assassin's Creed 4. So if you guys would be ever supportful of that, if you want to watch, I encourage you. I put a lot of time and effort into the editing, and on top of the editing, I think I have finally, and I'm crossing my fingers that this video works out right, I think, finally, the issue that has plagued me ever since I started making YouTube videos of a slight, uh non-smoothness to my videos, you know, a jitter here, a stutter there, just something wasn't quite appealing to the eye. I think I resolved the issue. Now, if there's nothing correct in this video and it's completely choppy, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing my best here, guys. I'm not professional or anything, but it is, uh, I think after 300 videos, I finally got it, which is kind of a little face palm there that I, you know, didn't yeah, have it figured out earlier. Although I will say, I think I used to have better video quality and my old computer hard drive died and I lost everything and ever since then I just haven't been able to get back to square one but I think I think it should be good right about now so uh, while we're starting over while we're getting some new things going while I'm getting my ass handed to me into this match right now which is eventually a victory it is probably the ugliest match I will ever post of Assassin's Creed 4 multiplayer but a victory is a victory and I will use it to uh, make a statement later on in the video. Um, I also want to say, and I was talking about you know getting uh, new grounding for my channel. I am going to be using my Facebook a lot more. I've been very, very vocal on Twitter over the last couple of months. So if you guys are new to my channel or if you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter at born underscore gamer. It is in the description box down below, and as well as search me on Facebook. It's just born gamer. I'm going to be posting my videos there. If you guys aren't a fan of the subscription box, I know YouTube's not exactly, exactly as frequently visited as some of your social media sites are. So I'm trying to expand, trying to get some more involvement out of the community and uh, whatever else comes to mind. You know, that's always a great way to reach me. The comments are one place, but having a real conversation really takes place over the social networking sites. So look forward to uh, hearing from me more on those and make sure you go follow and like me in their respective places so um, something I want to say uh, this is actually the main topic of my video here now that I have gotten all the little administrative little things out of the way uh, which I only do because there's so many new people coming to the channel around the launch of a new game uh, this is an ugly match I will be the first to admit I was uh, contempt to not post this as soon as I played it. Obviously when I play, I don't post every single game because I don't win every single game. I win a large majority and I'm wall humping right now, which is fantastic. Gotta love the wall hump. 
Um, so I was kind of screwing around because I was like, alright, this game's going nowhere. I got such a low score, it's not going to be fun to watch. But after seeing the final scoreboard, I figured it'd be no worthy of a match to post. Just because it can be extremely discouraging for people that are playing this game, especially new people. Uh, when you first start playing, because your scores are going to be low, you're not going to have the most success. There are going to be players that are always better than you, uh, unless you're me, then obviously, you know, it's just not going to happen. But it's a hard game. It's not like Call of Duty where there's an instant gratification of you can say, all right, I just have to get better at killing this person, or I just have to get better aim, or maybe if I unlock the next weapon, or you can get lucky with kills here and there, and it's a lot more instantly gratifying but with Assassin's Creed you're not only just learning the controls you're also learning the characters you're learning the bonuses you're learning the maps and there's just so much more involved mentally than there are in you know other games and I got Ariel killed there by uh, actually a very smart smart player right there um, it's a very involved game and I'm not saying it's complicated in the end you know the best of the best players might be in FPS or Starcraft right now but this has a bare minimum that you need to reach until you can start to be competitive so if this is like an ABC's of AC4 episode 0 I just want to say keep at it especially with the game having so many launch problems with lag and you know player connection it can get really discouraging you can just say alright screw this like I'm not doing well I can't even get into a match why should I continue to play just stick with it I have faith that eventually this game will be playable which should be fun I'm hoping, I'm hoping. It, it looks like an imp uh, You know, I'm, I'm gonna leave my opinions for later on because there's so many launch problems right now. I'm having issue even giving a, a like an honest review of what I think about the game right now. And I also have really time. I've been in school and whatnot. So uh, this weekend I got some time. There will be ABCs, hopefully a Templar Tactics, but there'll definitely be a lot of the AC4 playthrough and uh, various other post commentaries because I just love doing normal post commentaries. A lot of people's channels revolve around series and competitive match. Oh god, don't even get me started about that shit. Um, and super high scoring matches that I agree with how they got the high scores, but that's me. I'm a opinioned bastard because actually that that second part's not right. I was hatched. So I, I don't really I don't really know guys. It's um I really, I really, really want to sink my teeth into this game, but it's hard. It really is hard. I could go right now and dominate in Assassin's Creed Revelations. I'm sure I could go into Assassin's Creed 3 and Brotherhood. That was totally out of chronological order. I don't know why I just said it in that way, but I could go into any of those games, and maybe after you know half a match, I could get the controls back down. I know all the abilities. I already know the maps. The characters are like instantly recognized in my brain, so when I'm playing Deathmatch and I see... Uh, I think it's the Lady Rose. I think somebody corrected me on that for my last video, not the Black Rose. Uh, the Lady Rose. Uh, I'll see that and be like, alright, that's a character. That's an NPC. I don't need to worry about that character if I see one. Or if I see Whispers, maybe I need to be looking out for NPCs. There's this character. I think it's the Mercenary. Not like the Mercenary from ACB. But that stuff just kind of comes to your mind, especially when you're playing Deathmatch and you have to know what characters are unique in an actual other player. Because they always they always blend together at the beginning of the game, but towards the end of the game's life, you could instantly recognize it, <clears throat> almost like a different color on the, uh, the visible spectrum, throwing out my nerdy physics self right there. So, it's hard. That's all I can say. Um, so, if you guys would maybe consider leaving this video a rating. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I actually got to all my topics. Wait, let me check. Yeah, I, I, I got to all my topics in one video with time to spare. This is a born gamer first, so, uh, and it's probably the ugliest match I will ever post. I think I get something like five kills and 11 deaths. It is bad, but so is every other player right now because people are unfamiliar with it. And when you run across that person that's a three-star prestige on the second week, don't back out, just maybe see if you can pick up a thing or two from them, because a loss in Abstergo, or in a loss of Abstergo points, it doesn't matter, it's still a game, just trying to have fun, so leave a rating if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more, and check out the links at the end of the video for more videos. So I'm Nick Olson, Born Gamer, and I'll see you next time. He has no idea where I am. Peekaboo bitch! I got him! Run and hide, bob and weave, get out of dodge. <laughs> Oh, I love you, players.